Okay, we are live. Let me see if we're showing up on Angel's page real quick. Hilda, I wanna call her Angel. Okay, here we go. Let's share this real quick. We got three people on. Praise God, it's working this time. I had a big, little mini heart attack there for a second because the first live was not showing up. So I don't know. Facebook loves me, hates me. You know, it is what it is. So how are you, Brenda? All right, if you're here, say hey. I'm going to put you up top, guys. Don't get dizzy. Look away from the phone for a second. I got to try to get you in here. Okay. There we go. Okay, if you're here, say hi, welcome, welcome. If you got to see me this afternoon, awesome. I put on a little makeup, put some earrings on, feeling fab, here we go. Uh, if you have not been on recently and have not watched any of my lives, my name is Tara Norman. I am your cooking demonstration person for tonight. Uh, welcome to Hilda's online party. Tonight is the last night to order, she needs seven seven orders and she needs two people to host for me so she can get all of her hostess rewards. We are so stinking close. So uh, if you guys will do me a favor, if you will share this video, that will be awesome. At the end of the video, I'm gonna post her cooking link. I think that's why Facebook wouldn't let me go live. It's because I had her cooking link, uh, her party link in here. So um, I will post it at the end. I will also post all the recipes. Uh, well, the recipe for the drink and the recipe for the crust and the blueberry topping at the end of this. So again, say hey if you're here. Um, tonight, we're gonna be making some really cool things. We're gonna make a mixed drink first. Then we are going to make a chicken and broccoli stir fry. And then for the finale, we're making a blueberry cheesecake. So, so fun. And I've already made the blueberry sauce for, for the cheesecake earlier today. If you wanna watch that video, it's down below. It was so easy, it's organic, I know what's in it, and it's gonna be so fantastic because the cheesecake itself is like a citrus, um, it's like a, I'll show you in a second, it's like a citrus, citrusy cheesecake, but I didn't want lemon or limes in it. So here we go, real quick, let me tell you about Epicure. Epicure is basically the best thing ever. Um, if you're a person who has food sensitivities, food allergies, wants to eat healthy, wants to get food on the table real quick, needs help menu planning, needs help budgeting, we're pretty much everything. We pride ourselves in getting the food on the table in 20 minutes or less, and usually I can get a drink, a dinner, and a dessert on the table by then. Hey, Linda. So we are super fast, and it's using real ingredients. It's actually real food. I can pronounce everything that's in this spice packet right here, and um, I know what, what it is. Our sugars are super low, sodium is, sodium is super low, um, there's no gluten, there is no nuts. So if you have a peanut allergy, there's no nuts. There's no MSG, there's no BHQT, I think I said it right this time. There's no artificial flavoring, there's no dyes. There, the list is like this long, and if you didn't see it posted, let me know, I will tag you in it. Basically, it's super like healthy food, non-GMO, 80% of our product is um, non-GMO, almost all of it's organic for the most part, and 95% of it is vegan. Yes! All right, I think Bonnie hit the wrong thing. It said she wants to be in my video. I don't think she really wants to be in my video, but we're gonna start. Um, if you like what I'm doing and you think it's cool that I get paid to go live and show you how I'm cooking, let me know. Our business kits are $99, and I literally get paid every time I go live just to cook, it's pretty amazing. So, all right, welcome, welcome. We've got Angel, Linda, Brenda. Hey, hey, I think, yeah. If you're watching, say hey so I can see who you are. So tonight we're gonna make a really cool drink. This is the like one of my favorite parts of going live is making this drink. So this is our blue butterfly tea. Blue butterfly pea powder is an amazing, amazing um, powder for, for your health. 
It basically aids in detoxing, helps in digestion, brings down anxiety, brings down inflammation. Um, if you look it up, you'll see all the health benefits. So we made it into a tea. Now you can drink this tea by itself, put it on ice, put a little bit of citrus in it. It doesn't matter if it's um, lemon or lime and it changes color. My kids love to make ice cubes with it. So back at the back, you see that? I was making some ice cubes. Um, they didn't freeze in time, so it's totally fine for this demo. It's gonna be fine. Tonight, ours is gonna look inverted. So it's gonna look like a unicorn drink almost. The bottom's gonna be pink. The top is gonna be blue. So are you ready to watch the magic happen? This stuff is so much fun. So um, I think it's called a Maui Moscow I think there's another word, Unicorn Maui Moscow, that's the name of it. So we're gonna start first with this ginger beer. Ginger beer is not alcoholic. You can find it in grocery stores and you can find it at the liquor store. These two liquors that we're also using um, together are 20 bucks. So, and I only I only make these for my cooking demos because I, I like to like save it for my cooking demos because it's a fun thing to do. So actually, I really do need some more ice. Give me one second. Let me run, let me run. Okay, so sorry, it melted. I had this sitting on the counter waiting for this moment and it melted. So what we're gonna do, I'm just using like a margarita glass and we're just gonna pour about half of this is non-alcoholic ginger beer, okay? Now you can shake this stuff up. Here's what I found. You have to be careful. Make sure your ice is stacked high because we found that when, because we've done this through trial and error, when, when you're mixing it together, if the, if the blue butterfly tea hits the beer, it, then it doesn't make the same like reaction. Okay, this is called Kinky Pink. It's a naughty fusion of mango, passion fruit, and blood orange. It's a liqueur. So we're gonna add this in just to make it pink. It's about a shot. I just kind of eyeball it and I need to get a stir. I am not a professional drink maker. Usually my husband does all this for me when we go live. Um, but he had to take, he had to pick up kids from sports camp and I need to make this pinker. And he had to drop off a kid at um, youth group. Okay, there we go, that's good enough. That was about a shot, honestly, and the rest is ginger beer, which is non-alcoholic. Okay, so we got a nice pink base. Okay, so we've got our ice filled up to the top. Typically, I have a blue butterfly piece of ice, but it didn't, it didn't like solidify in time. <laughs> so, because I usually have like six cubes made ready to go for all my parties, but I guess we used the last two last time in our last party. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to add, this is called Blue Caraco. It's a liquor as well. I don't really know, I couldn't tell you what it tastes like because I don't drink it by itself. I always just put it in this. And this is kind of like a little fruity. It's not overpowering, it's super light. You just kind of um, put it on top of the ice. I am scared this is not gonna work because I have not I don't have the blue butterfly um, ice cube like I usually do, buffering it. So we're gonna pray it works. All right, so we got a little bit of that. This is the blue butterfly tea. It's literally blue. It turns purplish pink when you add citrus to it. So we're gonna add that on top, okay? And now you t I'm gonna take, this is our citrus, three-in-one citrus press. I'm gonna take a lime and just squeeze it on top. Now, typically I will put, like, I'll sugar my rim with our summer berry. I gotta wait for the color to change. Okay, I usually, I will let that sit for a second. Let me grab my summer berry. Usually I use summer berry. It's a topping that we have and I'll sugar the rim of this glass. I'll add fresh fruit to it. I'll do blueberries and strawberries. Last cooking class I had like a, toothpick full of blueberries and strawberries. It was super, super cute. We love to line the rim of these glasses with this. Now, this can be used for more than just mixed drinks. <laughs> we put it in our smoothies, we put it in our yogurts, we put it in ice cream, we put it on top of cupcakes. 
we basically, it's like a sprinkle, like, but we love to add it to everything. Can you see that? It's real strawberries. It's got organic cane sugar, raspberries, hibiscus, hibiscus strawberries, and organic rubios. So super healthy for you. I think it's like eight bucks. And it's one of our favorite. And just because we're talking about toppings, this is our other favorite topping. It's called Cocoa Crunch. And again, we use it for all the things, even oatmeal. It's got chia, organic cocoa nibs, facilamin husk, which is super healthy for you. Coconut, organic cane sugar, organic cocoa powder, and cinnamon. So good. Okay, so our drink is made. And it is inverted. It's blue on top and pink on the bottom. Can you guys see? Now, I added the, li the lime up top, and it's really hard to tell, but part of the top is actually pink. So it's like pink, blue, and pink. So how fun is that? It's like a unicorn drink. So cheers. And grab you this stuff. I'm telling you, it is so much fun. There's so many drinks you can make with this. Look up French 75. Um, I was making those a lot during my lives. It's champagne and this and, and some other goodies. And um, that is another yummy, yummy drink. I spilled a little bit of stuff, so let me wipe that out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to get started with is our chicken and broccoli. So I'm going to set this over here so I do not get confused. Um, so tonight's dinner is actually beef and broccoli. You guys have to keep me on point and remind me that I'm doubling the recipe tonight because I don't want to forget that I'm doubling it. Um, we're not eating beef tonight. We don't want to eat beef. We want to eat chicken. So that's what we're going to do. Um, but first, I'm going to get my rice going in our multi-purpose steamer because it takes about 15 minutes in the microwave. And um, this is our multi-purpose steamer. I've showed it before to you, but in case this is the first live you've ever seen, this is it. It's about $44. It comes with a crisper. It comes with a card that tells you like how long to put popcorn in, how long to put vegetables in, how long to do steak, ground beef, um, rice, quinoa, you name it. This thing cuts everything in half. And if you didn't get a chance to watch the video, basically it... Um, locks in all your antioxidants and all of your nutrients. You don't lose it like you do in cooking because it's all locked in here. It's pretty amazing and I'm just in love. And when you're cooking with silicone, it's super non-invasive and harmful to your body. Unlike tinfoil and all the other things that you can be cooking with. And I used to be completely freaked out because I was like, I don't think I can cook in a microwave. Like, I mean, we use a microwave prior to Epicure maybe once a week. Um, because we didn't do a lot of leftovers and stuff. I wasn't that amazing at cooking once and eating twice. Um, but now, like, I, and, and I watched videos and got educated because I like to read stuff and found out that it's not as harmful as I think. So I'm having a bit of a hot flash, so just bear with me. Okay, so rice, rice, rice is 15 minutes, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put one cup in the seam, or one cup rice, with two and a half cups of water, we're going to top it, top with tray and microwave without the lid, okay? So let me get my handy dandy thing of noodles here. And I have my scissors. I washed everything after the last demo. So I have kind of stuff everywhere. But, all right, so we need one cup rice. And that's backwards. If you have questions while I'm live, ask me, ask away and talk to me guys, talk to me. I may be back and forth in between um, cooking and doing my thing, but I love interaction. It keeps it interesting for me. So I'm just adding, uh, I think it was two and a half cups, so I better check that, but this is two. I think it was two and a half. Yeah, okay, so this is two and I'm gonna add one more, half. All right, so my rice is in here. You guys can see that. I'm gonna top it with this. I have actually always used the lid to that when I've made it, so I'm super interested how this is gonna work because typically I've made it in the camper and the RV. I've done it for a few lives, but I don't actually ever read this. I just do it by heart 
And somewhere along the way, I decided that you always put the lid on. So let me just read that because I'm pretty sure it said top with the tray and microwave without the lid for 15 minutes. That's what we're gonna do. If it boils over, then we learn together. We learned that we need the lid next time, okay? All right, so here we go. We're making chicken and broccoli stir fry. So I am going to be using our wok. This comes with the Asian kit that we've got a real good Asian, real fast kit. And um, you can get it with the wok or without the wok. And if you get it with the wok, I think the kit is like 127 or something. Um, but that's one, let me fix this. That's one of my favorite kits. Okay, I wanna make sure you can see him over there. Okay, it's one of my favorite kits, and I love our wok. It's, first of all, it's got the ergonomical handle, which is made of silicone, and the inside's shiny and pretty. And it cooks really, really beautiful. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken going. So, earlier today, I did a meal prep video. This is just avocado oil. 100% is by Chosen Foods. That's what we use because it works better, keeps carcinogens out of your um, food, basically, at higher temperatures. It's one of the best oils. Um, coconut oil would be a close second because you can heat it up to 500 degrees, but it has a taste, right? Not everybody wants a taste. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. And um, earlier today, I just quickly meal prepped and I just cut up a bunch of tenderloins. It was about 10 tenderloins, I think. Um, we're cooking once and we're eating twice. We're really budget friendly and making sure that we're on fleck with our menu planning and on par with the budget that we set for that. That's the goal right now. So, and I like to cook once and eat twice now. It's my new favorite thing because I get the night off. So that's what we're doing is a lot of chicken. But if you look back at Hilda's party, and if you're watching from um, Epic Eats with Tara, you'll see that I posted the menu plan so you can follow along with me. So if you want a menu plan and you want to cook with me every night that I cook, go for it. My menu plan stays inside my cabinet so I know what we're eating. I don't have to think about it. It doesn't like stress me out. I want this. So we got the chicken going, okay? I'm just gonna kinda let that go for a minute or two and grab my spoon holder. I'm gonna grab my spoon rest and let that cook for a few minutes and get nice and cooked through. So how is everyone tonight? How are you doing? <laughs> you guys having a good Wednesday night? All right, so let me tell you what I did um, for the graham cracker crust. In case you guys were at work or you didn't see the first video that I did, we had a problem finding graham cracker crust here today <laughs> in Spring Branch, which is close to San Antonio, Texas. Um, we just moved here a couple months ago and I'm still getting to know my restaurants, I'm still getting to know all my grocery stores and our HEB does not carry gluten-free pie crust. I was astounded. I was like, how can this even be? What are we gonna do during the holidays? So what I did was I quickly looked up a recipe for a quick gluten-free graham cracker crust that would be super fast for me to make, and I whipped it up. And so if you're on here and you saw it earlier, you can tune me out for a minute. Um, this is for the people who didn't see me. I just took these, you can buy them off of Amazon, you can buy them, um, most grocery stores carry them, all of Florida carry them. I'm really surprised I couldn't find them at our HEB. But, um, oh, they carried this, I'm sorry, they didn't carry the graham cracker crust, but most grocery stores carry this actual graham cracker. It's a gluten-free, it's called S'morables. And I took this entire package, which is about, um, I don't know, 12, how much was it? About 12, 12 um, pieces, I guess. Yeah, 10 to 12 sheets. And I put it in my food processor and I added two tablespoons of green. I didn't use granulated sugar because I am for the most part sugar free. I use, I gotta find it, hold on, here it is. I use monk fruit. It's great, it's like my granulated sugar substitute. You can buy this off of Amazon, Walmart carries it, Target carries it. I don't know about Publix. I think it, no, Publix carries it. Not sure about H-E-B because I haven't had to buy it yet. Hey Robin, 
So I use the monk fruit substitute for the granulated sugar because cancer survivor sugar, I'm really conscious of that stuff. And um, our, our, actual, um, our actual cheesecake only has nine grams of sugar in it. So I tried to keep my sugar low, even though I added that to it. So what we did was we added the sugar, we added six tablespoons of melted butter, unsalted. And I mixed it together, I patted it down in a pie pan, and voila, my crust was made. Now, I also wanted to make a blueberry topping, okay? So I don't love, I mean, I like lime in my drinks, I like lime in my food, but I don't like it in a dessert. I'm just not, I'm not down with that. I don't know why, I just don't love it. So what I did was I made a blueberry topping. I took organic blueberries, a whole entire like pint full, which is about two and a half cups, and I melted them, I like put them in my pot, turned my heat on high, and let them cook down so it was real watery and everything. Then I added two tablespoons of lemon juice, one fourth cup of monk fruit, one fourth cup of water. You're supposed to use one tablespoon cornstarch. Now, I didn't have cornstarch, I just don't have it, I'm out. And I do have potato starch because we use potato starch in our gluten-free flours. We like to make our own gluten-free flours. We're a little bit artisanal like that. So I had potato starch. I said, well, let's just use that. So we use that. Honestly, the potato starch was like a million times better than the corn starch. Like, honestly, it really was. And it turned out fantastic. I can't wait to show you the blueberry topping. Like it's super, it gelled up super well. I'm live, dude. It was one of my kids. It gelled up super well and the topping looks amazing. So we have one cheesecake that is already made, that is in the freezer, ready to go for me to put my toppings on. And we're gonna make another one live so you can watch the process because it takes two hours to like firm up in the freezer. And so I wanted to be able to show you guys what that looked like. All right, so that's what we did today. And let me check, we got about seven minutes on the rice. Our chicken is almost done. Can you guys see that far? Yep. There's still a couple pieces that are not cooked all the way. So we'll let that keep going. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start with a cheesecake, okay? <clears throat> all right. So I will warn you when I go to do this part, I want you to turn your volumes down so that it is not loud. So for the cheesecake, we had to take one whole thing of cream cheese and leave it out so that it was not super cold, so it's like soft to the touch. So this has been out since the last time I went live, which is about an hour or so ago. We're just gonna take this and we're gonna put it in here. The directions to make the cheesecake are on the back of the cheesecake package. I'm just gonna tell you now, if you didn't get a cheesecake, you need to add it to your order. You're gonna want it, and they come in packs of three. So when you order one cheesecake, I think you get three. All right, stick into my tin foil wrapper here. Let me pop that out. I won't leave that behind. All right, let me go wash my hands. Okay, and then we're gonna take the actual cheesecake mixture, which smells amazing. I don't know if you've ever used any of the Jell-O cheesecake, the box stuff. Um, it's got stuff that will, it's not really good for you. This is super good for you. It's organic cane sugar, lime juice powder, food starch modified, vanilla extract powder, and citric acid with vanilla bean. That's it. That's like what, seven things? Seven things and you can pronounce them. Most of it is organic. So we're gonna pop that in there and I think we just blend it. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we just, we're just gonna blend it, okay? So go ahead and turn your volume down because I don't want this to hurt your ears. Okay, you ready? I'll give you a thumbs up when it's time to turn back up. Okay, 
Okay, now if you were in my life earlier, I couldn't find my other thing of heavy whipping cream. I found it. It was in the other fridge. So, I went on the hunt for it and I found it. Thank goodness, because I was like, do I have to go back to H-E-B? We're just going to check on the chicken. We like a little bit of caramelization on the bottom of this chicken. It's not quite where I want it. So we're just gonna let that keep going. You need to add one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And we add it in gradually. I'm pretty sure it's like the whole carton. And no, nope, not quite. That's good, because I use it for coffee. Oh, I still add more. That's good. Now we're spilling. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to add some in right now. What we're looking for is peaks to form, but you have to get all the heavy whipping cream in. So I just do a little bit at a time. I mean, and this is literally it. Once we put the whipped cream in, the heavy whipping cream, we're done with the cheesecake. Can you even believe that? I mean, I can't. It's too much. Cheesecake is just not that easy, typically. It's just not. And this is the end of it. We have two minutes left on our rice. Okay, we have our peaks. We're done with the cheesecake. Now we're gonna add it to our crust. All right, let me check on or chicken. Okay, I'm going to turn this down to low for a second because I need to add in the rest of the stuff real quick. We're going to set the cheesecake aside. The cheesecake is pretty much done. Um, but I need to do this part of it real quick. Add in my broccoli and then our stir fries done. So I have to add my seasonings with two, three fourths cups of water. Okay, look at that. Gluten free, all healthy. Okay. Then I need to add in, this is to my steamer. Then I need to add in four tablespoons of soy sauce. So this is gluten-free soy sauce. If you do not have to be gluten-free, you can use your normal soy sauce, but we have to be. This is our four in one spice spoon. It fits inside of all of our Epicure jars. And we have 33 seconds left on the rice. I'm just stirring this around. I'm mixing all the soy sauce with all of the spices. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love me for Epicure. You just are. You just don't know how much it's gonna change your life, <laughs> but it is. It's gonna reduce your time in the kitchen. Okay, and then um, we just have our chicken already going. We're gonna add in our bro broccoli in just a minute and let it steam. And then we're gonna add in our sauce and we're all done. Literally, that's it. When's the last time you made stir fry and it was that easy? 
There's our rice. You ready to see if it did its thing? All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, steamer is out, okay? This is the crisper that I told you guys about. I make homemade tortilla chips on, you can fry bacon on, use it as a food separator. Oh, it's, it's cooked. Woo! Hold on. Let me take this. <laughs> I really need my um, hot pad gloves on, but you know, I'm stubborn like that. Here we go. And I can smell the chicken needs to be rotated. And grab now this is going to go in our stir fry so we'll end up putting soy sauce in this and adding it because some kids are going to want rice and not everybody's going to want rice but like I won't want rice but my husband and my kids probably will so where is my broccoli so now I'm going to go ahead and add in my broccoli we get the jumbo size bags, big family. And what I don't use in tonight's meal, I'll probably make a broccoli salad with for lunch. And just add like um, pepper jack cheese. Okay, so we're gonna let that go. Let me stir it in. That's got a broccoli leaf in it. I don't want a broccoli leaf. Why are there broccoli leaves in my 4S? Okay. Turn that up just a little bit. Okay. So while that's going, we're letting our sauce sit. I'm going to cover the rice so that it continues to stay warm. I mean, 15 minutes. Can you even? It's usually 20, sometimes 20 plus, because if I'm making two cups of rice, that's how much it is. Okay. Let me move this out of the way, too, because I'm done with that. All right, back to the cheesecake. Angel says, nice. You guys are so quiet. Is it kind of like watching the Food Network, except for I'm not as cool, is like, uh, what's her name? The cow, cowgirl, oh, I love her. Um, I don't wanna, uh, starts with an R. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm not that cool, but, I kind of sort of feel like I'm on the Cooking Network channel sometimes. All right, this is the crust we made earlier, the graham cracker crust. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh my gosh. So this is my little secret, okay? Epicure is not gonna tell you to do this. Um, I added apple, apple pie spice to my crust, just to give it a little. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to taste it with the blueberry topping I made, but I had to try it, okay? So I can smell it. I can definitely smell it, even with all the smells that I have going on here. All right, so our cheesecake, guys, it took us less than five minutes to make it. Literally less than five minutes. Um, look how beautiful it is. Nice and whipped, and it tastes like plain cheesecake. Now, if you love the citrus, go for it. You wanna do strawberries, do it. Add strawberries to the top and to the actual filling. Um, if you wanna make I don't know, whatever fruit you like, don't be afraid to add it to this. I kind of look at recipes as like suggestions and I kind of do my own thing. Um, that's just how I am. If you're a recipe follower, I encourage you to think about what you like, what your favorite flavors are. And if Epicure isn't like telling you, like if it's telling you put citrus in this, Go ahead and do what you want to do. I didn't even think twice about doing blueberries today. I was like, we're doing blueberries because I don't like lime. I'm not, um, my husband likes lime. Like, I'm trying to think of that dessert that he likes, but um, see, I don't even eat it, so I can't even think of it. All right? This is so good and so easy. So now, this goes into our freezer. Let me pull out my ready-made one with my blueberry topping. 
and let's get that done real quick. Oop, let me actually get the lid on. Well, I mean, I have to eat this because I mean, it's just coming out. It's like, that's what you gotta do when you're cooking. You gotta taste test all the goodness. Okay, I actually got the lid on this time, good. I don't know I guess it was like 4 15 or so this one's all done okay I can smell my broccoli can you and you can see the color so this is how you know it's ready when it turns out bright green that means it's ready to go when it turns dull green you've cooked it too long so now we're just gonna add this in until the sauce thickens all right this is eight cups of sauce. No, it's not eight cups of sauce. Eight servings. So it's um, almost four cups of sauce. Okay. Let me take this off because I want you to see. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Hold on. Let me do this. I'm going to use my grill gloves because I want you to see the spices. They don't... <laughs> They definitely don't skip on that part. Can you see that? Look how beautiful that is. So what we're looking for is for this to thicken up. It's still on low. I'm gonna leave it uncovered. All right, and let me put this away so I know that I'm done with that. Now let me grab my blueberry. Okay, and yeah, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the same spoon. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna use the same spoon. I'm just kidding. Because if we don't have to use it all, we're gonna save this for blueberry syrup for pancakes. Mm hmm. Look at that. That's good. So you want this to be chilled because you don't wanna cook it on the stove and then put it on top of this. It will melt the whole thing. It's gonna be nasty. So you want this to be cold and it completely gelled up perfectly. It's almost a jam. Can you see this? It's almost a jam. And when I was cooking it, you can ask anybody who was on live with me, it was 100% liquid until I added in the potato starch. And honestly, the potato starch, hands down, did a better job than cornstarch. I'm really impressed. I think this is my new thing. Because uh, we have it anyway. You know, so might as well. I'm going to save half of this for the other cheesecake that's in the freezer right now so that we can have this again. Because there's six of us, I mean, this is not gonna last the night. It'll be gone. It'll be gone. Everyone's gonna get a slice, and then I know a child or two will be like, can I have just one more? Paul and I may sneak into the rest of it if there's any left tonight, right before bed while we're watching our show. We're 100, 100% stuck on Madam Secretary. I know it's old. We never watch it because we don't watch TV. And I can't stop watching it. I mean, I'm a bit afraid of what happens when it's gone. Like when I'm at a show, someone's gonna have to tell me what to watch. So here we go, blueberry topped cheesecake. You love how the blueberry looks great. Yes, look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty and it's gonna taste so, so good. This would be a really good 4th of July dessert. Not even kidding. You could add strawberries on top to give it that like variation if you wanted to, but oh my gosh. And we're done with our cheesecake. Let me check on our food. It should be, yep, the sauce is thick, thickened. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> so our stir fry is done, our cheesecake is done, and my rice is done. I wanna plate it so you can see how thick it is um, without me having to lift the whole thing up. Let's see if I can grab a plate. Okay. Now, I don't eat rice. I don't want the starch. Starch and, and the carbs, actually. <laughs> carbs just turn into sugar, so that's not really helpful to me. Hold on, let me grab, just see if I can get a little bit of, okay, here we go. All right, so this, see how the sauce thickened up? Can you see that? 
Look how beautiful that is. It looks amazing and it tastes amazing. No kidding. Like this stuff is so good. You guys watched me make a drink. I don't know how long I've really been live, but I did chat for a good portion of it. Um, this is our drink. We got a little bit of pink left here. We made our pie, our cheesecake pie. We made stir fry. I'm actually gonna eat more than that. Don't, I do eat, I promise. Like that's not enough for me. And we made our rice in the steamer. And I know that we did it in 20 minutes. <laughs> I know that we did. I don't know how long I've been chit chatting, but I know that we did. So that's it guys. If you need recommendations on what you want to order, what you should order, talk to me. I will tell you my favorites. I will tell you our staples. Let me take you off because I want to show you. Um, this is all we cook with. <laughs> like, no kidding. This is my Epicure cabinet. See all my Epicure? This is my Epicure cabinet. This is just spices. Now, this is my new favorite. This is brand new. It's called Feisty Green. We make this sauce. It's so easy to make. You just add it to um, mayonnaise. That's it. That's all you do. And we put it on top of corn. We eat it on top of french fries. We eat it on top of chicken. Um, we eat it on top of steak. We eat it on top of burger. What else did I add? I added it to, I added green beans the other day. It was so good. I know, holy cow. I know. But I've got gravy in here. I've got vegetable broth. All the staples for a gluten-free family. Creamy potato salad is amazing. We also use it on top of our coleslaw. Fajita seasoning is a must. Chipotle aioli mix is my favorite. SPG, I put on pretty much everything. Um, Asian stir fry is another good one. The Greek kit, you have to have. Like, it's just any of our better than takeout um, collections, which include barbecue, it includes um, Asian, it includes Greek, and it includes Mexican. Any of those takeout kits are so good. And the thing is, is that I'm spoiled. Like, I, I love date night, but honestly, Paul and I do not enjoy food outside of our house as much as we used to because the food is that good. And it's really, I'm not slaving away in the kitchen. I mean, you guys just saw 20 minutes and I'm done. So if you need suggestions, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. Her party ends at midnight. She needs two hostesses to say they'll do an online party. I do all the work. Ask uh, Hilda. I don't, I keep wanting to call her Angel. Ask Hilda. I do all the work honestly. And if you host, you get $20 credit towards buying Epicure plus all your hostess rewards. And you'll get a free cheesecake from me. I have put some little stickers on here for you. And because you can't have dessert without food, I'm throwing in a sloppy Joe. Okay. So that's $20. That's two meal solutions. So if you want to do it, let me know. She needs a hostess so she can get the hostess rewards, which is half off a product. So she gets half off one product. You get $20 towards shopping at your own party. It's a really good deal. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thanks for showing up to Hilda's party and being present. We appreciate it. And um, honestly, I'm going to go eat some really good food with my family. And I will be back on posting recipes. I'll try to link um, this lady's website in case you guys are interested in the graham cracker crust or the blueberry pie filling, or not filling, topping that I made. And um, yeah, I'm here tonight. Let me know if you need anything. Bye, Robin. Have a good night, ladies.